first thing we got to do this is the fuel pump and they have a little finger on it uh, to pump the fuel into the injector pump now if you're lucky and have an electrical pump you just turn the key on and it will feed it to it but we don't this is a mechanical so you got to push down the first thing you do is break this line right here at the front of the injector pump now we're going to pump the fluid for that pump until it comes out of the top. We have that loose. And here it comes. As you can see it is leaking just a little, but I'm going to make it leak a little more because we need to make sure all the air is out of this. Okay, we're going to loosen this a little more to make sure all the air is out of it. Okay, we're going to pump a little more. There, see the fluid come out? So pump it and make sure that you're getting a lot of those air bubbles out. Which we got quite a bit out right now. I'd say that's good. Now we close this back up. And make sure that you have a pan under the engine to catch all the fluid. You like to do that, Kevin. Because we're dripping a lot. Okay, that seems to be tight. Next spot we're going to go to is this part. This is the overflow part of the injector pump. So now we're going to pump it again to make sure there's fluid coming out of it. As you can see, there's fluid coming out. Okay. Make sure this pipe is not leaning on the any other part because it wear a hole in it. I'm going to push this back a little farther. Okay, next thing we're going to do we we'll just use the starter and crank up and make sure fluid comes out of these four. Now we're just going to crank it. We're not worried about starting it. We're just worrying about getting the fluid out. Okay, now we're getting ready to crank it. And these fittings right here, these four, uh, you need to have the diesel to piss out of those next. Okay, uh, that should be sufficient. Now remember, we might not have the entire air out of the system, but we're just counting on it's going to fire and suck it out anyway, the rest of it. We're getting the majority out. So now we got to retighten all of these back up. Now to do it the right way, we need to take the caps off the injector also. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is, we'll come on this side. I'm just going to show you how to do one. Right here is one of the injectors if you can see in there. Right there, where my wrench is on. You just loosen that up too to get the air out of that. But we're going to be lazy because you need to loosen up all the caps on each one of those to prime those. But we're just going to try it without doing that and see if it starts or not. If it doesn't, we got to loosen them. 
Go for it. But uh, when that fan belt goes out, it's going to take hours to change that fan belt because you got to remove the pump or loosen the head up. I've never done one. It's just I'm waiting until it breaks. So it runs. Everything's done. That's how you prime the injector pump for a Cummins diesel engine. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel. That would help us out. Thank you.